Looking at the error rate of a machine learning model is not the only way to look at the performance of a model. For classification AIs, which are AI models that classify data according to what it has learned, a confusion matrix is used to judge the performance of a machine. A confusion matrix is also known as an error matrix. It's a way of visualizing the performance of a machine learning model. It looks like this. It has four quadrants. Across the top represents predictions of what the data is. And across the side represents the actual data, the truth. The point of a confusion matrix is to observe the strengths and weaknesses of a model. Now imagine an AI that identifies pictures of dogs. Here's a visual of the images this AI model processed. There are 15 images. Whatever is circled is the AI prediction of which images are dogs. Therefore, the accuracy of the model is 60%. It correctly identified nine out of 15 images as dogs. For machine learning, however, accuracy is not relied on. Why? Because it doesn't tell you enough. For AI models, it's just as important to know what the machine did correctly as what the machine might have missed. This is where the confusion matrix comes in. In the confusion matrix, for the same dog classifier image recognition AI, we take note of the total number of data points. There are 15. Then we start on the top left. Here we count how many images the model predicted were not dogs that were in fact not dogs. Here you count three. These are your true negatives, a correct prediction. Next on the top right, you count how many times did the model predict that something was a dog, but in actuality it was not. Here you count two. These are your false positives, an incorrect prediction. Now for the bottom left, when did the model predict it was not a dog, but in fact was? Here you count one. This is your false negative another incorrect prediction. Finally, we have the bottom right. Here are the number of times that the model predicted it was a picture of a dog and it was in fact a picture of a dog. Here we write nine. These are the true positives, another correct prediction. Now you can see why this is called a confusion matrix. It's simple, but still a little confusing to map out. Now visually, we can see what predictions are made correctly and which ones were made incorrectly. We can also see the, what the model's strengths were, which are the true positives, and what the model's weaknesses are, which are the false positives. Now you have four data points of how this model performs instead of just one.